Good morning. We made it back home from our little excursion to Kramer Tobacconists. The probably last tobacconist shop to close in the Los Angeles area. There are plenty of tobacco stores and tobacco shops uh, that cater to hookahs and vaping and all of the uh, latest accoutrement in the tobacco market. But uh, Kramer's was something special. Closed uh, December 31st after 68 years, uh, most recently run by uh, the daughter of the founder, uh, Marsha uh, Keller, now married to Jim. I've only had a chance to stop in a couple of times, but I did get their signature Father Dempsey blend and have thoroughly enjoyed that. Uh, you can still get uh, the blended tobacco. They handed over the recipes to uh, smokingpipes.com, and there's a wonderful set of uh, videos and uh, tributes to uh, their shop at that page as well as of course on the home page of the Kramer Tobacco Shop uh, website which is still up and I've put both of those down in the bucket. A little bit of tea here. And of course In tribute to Kramer's, I'm smoking Father Dempsey, which I really love. In my Fallen Duke, Sir Duke, I think it is, sorry, with, of course, a military mount. I was all bundled up this morning when I headed down to Kramer's, but it's kind of a nice day today, so I thought I would break out the uh, summer wear a bit. As you know, we've been having seasonally warm temperatures in Los Angeles while everyone else is in the uh, freezer. That may change later this winter. I thought I'd make today's video kind of a flashback, so... This will be the beginning of the video, and then uh, we'll take you to the uh, the shop and let you see that. And then come back here for kind of a closeout. Thoughts and meditations. So, let's begin with the flashback. Good morning, everyone. I hope this video finds you in good health and prosperity as we begin the new year. I just heard this morning that Kramer's, oh, Kramer's Pipe Store is closing in Beverly Hills as of the 31st. So I'm a little late, but I wanted to head down there and see if there's anything that I could see or if uh, Marsha was down there that I could say thanks to or maybe pick up some impressions of people if anybody's down there today. Uh, really a sad day in LA pipe smoking history. They've been in operation uh, for 68 years. And uh, I was down there a couple of months ago to stock up on Father Dempsey tobacco. I still have some of their original blends. The production now, I think you can still get the Father Dempsey and all of their tobaccos at smokingpipes.com and they have an exclusive with uh, one of the tobacco distributors. At any rate, I thought we'd head down there and uh, take a look. Kind of an unplanned uh, field trip today, so we'll see what we can see. Don't worry, I'm not going to roll the video for the entire trip just to where I can get up to uh, the light here and we'll give you a look as we get a little bit closer Oh, we're 
on Little Santa Monica Boulevard now. This is the business area of Beverly Hills. A little bit of a retro 76 station. Up to our right is the uh, Performing Arts Center. Kramer Books will be, or Kramer Books, Kramer Tobacco will be up to our right. We have a couple more uh, streets to cross here. This is Canyon Boulevard. The next one up here is Rodeo. And true Los Angeles fashion, why not block traffic to let somebody out? You gotta love it. All right, here's the famous Rodeo Drive. Coming up, this is Beverly. Next one's Rodeo. I'll slow down a little bit here and see a little sign off to the right that says cigars right here as we pass Kramer's and it is boarded up well let's hang a right here and just take a look inside find some parking because you can't park on the streets oh good old spot number 248. I know it well. Here we come walking down Little Santa Monica Boulevard towards Kramer's Tobacco. Earlier I said bookshop because so many bookshops have shared the fate of the Kramers. Al Kramer's Tobacconist. Uh, if I can get away from the glare. And as you can see, it's definitely closed. Famous display. Everything closed. I want to show you something. You see the Humidor Fresh Cigars, just to the right, was where that phone was mounted, where a famous phone call was received. We will talk more about that later. But for now, I'm gonna head on back and smoke a bowl of Father Dempsey in tribute to this wonderful old shop. One more look. Kramer's. The style really stands out. It's the old, old awning style. Certainly a lot different than the glass and metal structured buildings around us. Tribute to Al Kramer's Tobacconists. Good shop, good memories. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little trip to Kramer's. And I talked about the phone in the far right-hand part of the screen. 
And that phone has kind of an interesting history. Danny Kay called Tina Kramer, uh, Marsha's uh, mother, when she was in the hospital on it from Kramer's tobacco shop to welcome or to uh, give her her best wishes for a speedy recovery. And uh, as legend has it, uh, Tina Kramer didn't believe it was him. And when she finally did, she was really taken back. So an interesting story, a lot of interesting stories surrounding that much storied tobacco shop. And you can find that both at uh, smokingpipes.com and uh, kramertobaccoshop.com that I mentioned earlier I have in the bucket. So I visited there. I only have uh, memories of a couple visits, but in meeting Marsha, I don't think anybody that's ever met her uh, forgets her. She's a wonderful, saintly woman. I was in the shop dis uh, discussing the Father Dempsey blend with uh, Jim, uh, her wife, his uh, her husband, and uh, I noticed they had a copy of uh, Tobacco Magazine and asked her, or Pipes Magazine rather, and asked her if uh, if she was going to throw that out. It was an old issue. And instead she just gave me the bundle. <laughs> That's the kind of person she was. Always, uh, always enjoyed talking with her. Quite a character. And you can see her interviewed uh, on some uh, videos that were published on KramerTobaccoShop.com. So kind of in tribute to the shop, on the way back I was smoking my Fallon and listening to the group uh, Beach House, which if you haven't uh, listened to them, I don't know, I like them. I'd like to be able to play their music in my video, but I, I can't because I probably would have to pay a million dollars or something. I, I don't know. I don't know a lot about copyright law, but they were checking out. Good music to smoke a pipe with and drive. And on the way home, I was thinking about time, thinking about first Ed's Pipe Shop and then Kramer's kind of a closure in history. I suppose a little little melancholy, but reality is that, you know, change is the constant. Things, things uh, are built, then torn down, built again, which made me think of the sense of time in T.S. Eliot's Four Quartets. And to close today's video, I'm going to read you a little bit from Eliot's Four Quartets that I think would be appropriate and is my small tribute to the rise and fall of Kramer's Tobacco Shop. Probably shouldn't read it with my pipe in my mouth, right? Yeah, okay. It's such good tobacco, though. It's hard to take it out of your mouth. Love that, Father Dempsey. Here we go. Home is where one starts from. As we grow older, the world becomes stranger, the pattern more complicated of dead and living, not the intense moment isolated with no before and after, but a lifetime burning in every moment, and not the lifetime of one man only, but of old stones that cannot be deciphered. There is a time for the evening under the starlight, a time for the evening under lamplight, the evening with the photograph album. Love is most nearly itself when here and now cease to matter. Old men ought to be explorers, here and there does not matter. We must be still and still moving into another intensity for a further union, a deeper communion through the dark cold and the empty desolation, the wave cry, the wind cry, the vast waters of the petrol and the porpoise. In my end is my beginning. I'll leave you with those great words from T.S. Eliot, good thoughts and good cheer as we move on in this new year.